Okay, so this video is, um, I'm showing my coming out letter and then just some sort of thoughts on the coming out process. And in the one take that I did already that I'm going to use later, um, I don't talk about why I think that the coming out process itself is actually um, pretty valuable and important. And so I think that it's both of those things because um, firstly, it allows you to sort of take ownership of your life. Like, you get to be, you get to live your life now from now on for you. And I think the second really big thing that maybe not everybody, um, thinks about too much is that it really kind of makes you, um, pot committed. Because now, um, to borrow a poker term, like, essentially, like, you have only so much social capital um, that you, that you get with your peers, with your family, with whoever, like, people don't trust somebody who lies, or always says something and then doesn't follow through, so, by saying you're trans, you're transgender, um, and you're going to transition, you're really kind of committing yourself to a pretty big life change, um, and not only does coming out maybe help you get support and help that you need, but it also kind of is that self-internal push that you might also need. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to say, well, I've already said I'm going to do these things, so now let's just go ahead and do them. Whereas you might otherwise kind of always just be like, well, maybe I'll wait till next year or till I'm done with school or like there's always something worth waiting for. Um, and there's never a good time to transition, um, but this way I think you get to kind of come out ahead of the process um, and really kind of be in the driver's seat yourself rather than kind of continue to wait for the opportune moment, which will never come. But yeah, so here's the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so I was asked to... Um, share sort of my coming out process, um, and I figured that today being the Trans Day of Remembrance, um, it's actually maybe sort of a fitting kind of material for the video, because, um, you know, regardless of how many of us are murdered and killed, there's always going to be more of us out there, and, um, by being a better ally, um, you can maybe help make the process a little bit easier and safer for somebody else. Um, and by maybe um, sharing sort of your feelings, um, your desire to transition, in maybe like a, the right way. I mean, I don't want to say that my way is better than any other, just that um, when you do it, there's a couple of things that you might pick up on during the video. Um, during my reading of that, my letter that um, I'll talk about in a little bit more detail that I think are more effective than sort of other ways. And so, just to start, here is the actual letter itself that I sent to my classmates in business school. So, 120 people um, got this email at roughly 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Uh, dear friends, I've debated how I would say this for quite some time now, when I would say it, and to whom, and now I'm at the point where I'm just going to do it. I've been struggling with something my entire life and have finally started addressing it. I am transsexual. My mind does not match my anatomy, and most people don't have to deal with these discrepancies, but I do. This isn't a feeling, a wish, or a choice. It is something hardwired into me, my gender identity my innate sense of who I am. This will never go away, and as I've grown older, it has only grown worse. It is not something that can be talked out or treated with psychoactive drugs and or therapy. I speak from lengthy experience. My body and mind simply are a mismatch, and I'm pursuing the only known effective treatment. Transition. For the last two and a half months, I've been taking female hormones and testosterone blockers, and you might have noticed changes in me over that time. I've slimmed down, shown up at Owen earlier in the morning, 
drank less and felt better than ever before. Things are changing for the better. I'm still going to be pretty much the same person, just different, happier, and more open. I'm not going away, I'm growing into myself. So when will this take place? It's a gradual process, so it'll take several months, but I hope to complete my transition before we graduate. And I did. There is still a lot for me to do, and the hormones will take several months to really produce noticeable effects. What is going to change? Wikipedia has a pretty comprehensive and accurate list of hormone replacement therapy effects here, and I gave them a link. Who else knows? My family, my friends from home, my roommates, and now most of the class of 2012. BCC'd in this email. Why am I coming out now? Um, why am I coming out now? Because I'm tired of being one person when I talk to those who know, and a completely different one when I'm at Owen. The sod is too much for me to maintain any longer. I know this is a big shock and a lot to take in. It took me some 20 odd years to really make peace with it and start what I have to do to be happy with myself. So I don't expect it to be something you will immediately embrace. If you need some time and space to process this, I understand. If you have any questions, even ones you might think are stupid, or want to talk, I'm more than willing to do so. I have nothing left to hide. And so that was the actual content of the letter. And so some key things that I think are important is that it wasn't really emotional. Like, I know a lot of people appreciate sharing that, well, I've always felt like a girl, like, um... And they might even list particular experiences or whatever. And, you know, if that's what you need to do, then sure, do it. But for me, knowing who my audience was, um, I wanted to keep it pretty short, pretty concise. And sort of pretty undebatable. Um, because I know a lot of people will, um, who don't want you to transition will attack certain reasons for your transition. So if you say it's because of X, Y, and Z... People say, well, maybe X is really because of A, Y was really influenced by B, and you just didn't get enough of C. So um, they'll try to come up with excuses as to why you shouldn't do it. And for some people, um, especially given sort of life context, that can be really um, hard to debate. Like, I mean, that's sort of what parents, um, religion to an extent, like, it's about, I don't want to say it's about control, but it is, like, they don't want you to do something, and they're going to figure out how to prevent you from doing it, um, so yeah, that was my letter, um, it was received overwhelmingly positively, um, and when I actually came out to my parents, I didn't use that letter. I basically just talked to them in person. Um, I had come out to them once before, um, and that was sort of awkward and poorly handled. But then, you know, when I went to school, I went with the intention to transition, and I told them as much um, the summer before I left. <laughs> Sorry, I just covered up a burp. <laughs> um... But yeah, like I just said, by the way, when I when I get to Vanderbilt, I'm going to transition. And so my dad was like, well, what does that mean? Um, and I basically told them, but my parents were really, really super supportive. Um, my friends were amazing. My brothers were fantastic. So I really couldn't have asked for... Um, it to go any better than it did, and I know that not everybody is that lucky, um, but hopefully there are at least a few people who you can find who will take that news well. Um, and hopefully there's more than just a few, but um, good luck, and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>